வணக்கம் கிருஷ்ண மெக்கன்சி Permaculture workshops in Solitude Farm are an intensive, hands-on, experiential weekend that you need a lot of energy for if you're going to come to them. They will empower you to start your road back to nature, exploring how to grow local foods, how to use local foods, how to value resources such as wastewater, how to value things like seeds and save seeds how to make an urban garden how to make a circle garden how to make a banana a sponge pit garden and how to make a, you know how would you do a whole field and how would you use the diversity in a permaculture field to support a vegan fruit and vegetable basket service the community serv- supported agriculture csa so giving an economic model for people you know real contexts not just abstract ideas this particular field here if you have a look you know it has the papaya being used that fell down in the cyclone like endless papayas um as a mulch with the brinjals and there are the long beans and tomatoes with lettuce and there are black chilies and radish and tapiocas and bananas and this is another beautiful aspect of solitude that we're actually just developing at the moment it's called the perennial hedge where we bring all our sort of shade creating plants like bananas tapioca drumstick papaya the kandari chili the sundakai on one hedge and those hedges break up the farm leaving us smaller modules with more light in which we can do our more our horticulture our, our growing our vegetables So here you have drumstick and papaya and the vitamin plant and bananas etc this is just a start here but that's a very interesting concept because people are often coming to these workshops with the aim to start farms and we give them a solid model with which they can go away and create it now let me show you the circle garden so this is a sponge pit or a, or a banana circle this is a, a really classic permaculture idea we have a pit here and in this pit it's absolutely full of organic matter this must be about 2 feet deep here and we've just thrown so much leaves and branches and wood and at the bottom there are even thorns so normally what happens is a pipe from a wastewater would come in here and this becomes a sponge and these bananas this is the main thing is the bananas here they feed into from this sponge so it just gets fed by the water the wastewater and then you try and you know you create another bit of a garden around here there's some chaya and um brinjal tomato sweet potato some uh, comeli- uh, comelina um some more sweet potato some tapioca is in here this was only done last week so there are also some seeds they haven't yet germinated but this will be full of plants and this is a very simple module that people can use around the outside there's also a trench now mostly people it, when you look in a permaculture manual they won't do the trench outside i do the trench outside because we live in a subtropical area with so much organic matter if you do a trench outside you can also fill that with organic matter and it also acts as a weed block that means the weeds don't cross into the bed where you're growing the plants so this is a really nice module this is the first module we teach on the on the weekend on the saturday and uh, then there's an urban module that i that i'd also like to show you so in this workshop we try and touch on as many things as we can and one of them is the urban garden so you see in this is a very humble urban garden module these plastics are all broken and old but that's precisely why we've used them we're just trying to show people you don't need to invest in you know hundreds and hundreds of rupees for nice fancy pots use an old bloody plastic bottle and there's a lady's finger germinating in here you got sweet potato here you got a brinjal here with another papaya coming up as a seed i didn't even put that some chicken spinach there's some um, more brinjal here there's some tipli here 
tomato, this New Zealand spinach, you've got the purple joy weed, um, lettuce, look, this is an old plastic tubber we have, and we put the lettuce in it. And more here, this is a portalaka, the parapukire, and here there's a basil, and in here there's a papaya growing in this big sack. The sack is again, it doesn't look so pretty, I'll agree, you know, maybe this isn't the best thing to show you on a video, but... When you're doing a workshop here and you see, oh wow, I can grow my vetele up here and I got a papaya in here and actually I only have a tiny space and I could start this now. That's what we wanna do. We wanna empower people and that's what this workshop will do. So the nursery is really the, I would say it's like the motor of the farm. You know, it's the heart of the farm because the seedlings get ready and you better be ready in your field to plant them. So uh, one module in the farm is how do you make the soil mix? You know, what are, what are the components to, to create a nice, healthy nursery soil mix? How do we sow the seeds? How do we transplant the seeds? For many people, this will be a first, uh, you know, first touch for you to do that. For some others, there will have been some experience, but then how to create a nursery, how to manage a nursery will be a very important you know, part of learning how to start farming. So this workshop requires a lot of enthusiasm and energy. This isn't your standard permaculture design certification. This is really your road back to nature. This is your own empowerment to start now. It's not another certificate. Let's start living this life. And really the backbone of the workshop is the teachings of Masanobu Fukuoka and his book, The One Straw Revolution. So that comes into every aspect that we, that we do, whether it's making a soap and looking at recycling water or social permaculture and celebration or cooking of local foods. It all goes back to a, the philosophy of natural farming. Now, if you're not familiar with natural farming, go and check out some of the videos that I've done. There are some readings I've done, Masanobu Fukuoka. And, you know, there are also videos about this workshop. There are some, I think some testimonials and there are some, you know, just you have to dig in, uh, in the YouTube channel and you'll find out more information. And as always, please subscribe please hit the notification bell and share these videos. See you there.